Olawale Ayilara. Olawale Ayilara is a passionate entrepreneur with over 10 years' experience starting and running businesses in the southwest of Nigeria, handling transactions worth a combined value of $200 million. He is the founder and CEO of Landway Investment Limited, a real estate investment company employing innovative methods that are disrupting the real estate sector in the region. Prior to founding Landway, he worked as head, business development, creativity and strategy at Eagles in Insight and Innovations and co-founded Nigerian Property Investments Group, a real estate platform for Nigerians in diaspora. Olawale is a business strategist that has spent most of his career in business development, innovations and strategy. An alumnus of Lagos Business School with an MBA from the London Metropolitan School of Business. He sits on the board of over 10 high-profile businesses and is a member of the Sponsors for Young Growing Business Association, a Pan-African organization comprising a network of leading African professionals thriving in challenging career paths. He serves as the president of the Nigerian Advocates for Positive Change and the senior director of the Beyond School Initiative. He was the host of the Ogun State Business Development Conference in 2009, 2010, and 2013. He has been honored with numerous awards and professional recognition, one of which is the Most Innovative Real Estate Leader Award 2017. His extraordinary achievements as an accomplished entrepreneur under the age of 30 saw him being listed in the Forbes Africa Under 30 class of 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Olawale Ayilara to the Wisdom Conference. But please tell us a little bit about your story. Okay. Now I'm feeling somehow now. But, <laughs> but you have to make me comfortable, all right? So uh, uh, I'm from a family of eight. Okay. So I'm number six, six boys, two girls. So and uh, I think waiting for admission for me was it. Mm. Uh, I finished secondary school 2004. I didn't gain admission until 2008. Mm. So, but that was the best thing that that, that I mean that was the catalyst okay. for what happened. So. Uh, while I was trying to wait for admission, I, I mean, I've been a big boy all my life. A big I come to Lagos, just we come to Lagos in the night, we don't go out, and then they take us back to a So I don't really know what Lagos was. Okay. So trying to get my O level, uh, my because my secondary school wide result was I think only my. If, uh, if we had to put it in normal results that we get from school, maybe only my name will be in blue and then the other one will be red. That's so, the first attempt at why. Yeah. So, and my dad asked me that, okay, you have to go back to SS1 and then start all of, I mean, I'm like, I won't do this. In this town, I won't do it. So, and they listened, you, know, okay, you go to Lagos and then go and, but, but I'm not giving to uh, the educational books because I've always questioned the uh, educational system. Personally, I question it. I've had discussions on this same topic. I'm like, what are we studying? I don't understand. Where is the application? Where is the outdated knowledge? I just don't see it. Till date, I still don't see it. So and while I was trying to study for the, uh, for the WAEC, another one that I was going to retake, I I stayed with somebody who happens to be my brother. He was the firstborn of the family. Uh, and he's a pastor. And then he has this study room with full of books. So he told me to study OKK, Ababio, and all that. I will enter the room, come out. And I asked myself, what's this guy doing with all these books? So for me to be able to read, he removed the cutout. There's something they call cutout. Yeah. So that it will be blackout. So is that you read? You like sleep. but but there won't be light. So I'll, after sleeping and waking up, what does it take? There's no, we don't have all these phones then, and then we have 3310. What can you do on 3310? So I'll enter the, but, but one thing I did during those times was that I, I, I started picking those books one by one, and I started reading. And something was shifting, something was shifting, something was shifting, something was shifting. And I just started applying all those things I was learning. I just started applying. I started the coaching center. I don't, I don't have O level, but I started the coaching center. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, but I picked the book called Wealth in Your Gift. It was written by one Unilag student. 
and all that. But it was a very great book, Wealth in Your Gift. I was talking about uh, gift, personality types, how to discover okay, what you are good at. So I'll just apply. I, I, I listed everything I think, I mean, maybe I was good at. So I started applying them one by one. So and that was it. But that was the start. So you went to Tao said, what gave you the audacity? I mean, I didn't want to go to Tasswell, though. Yeah, I get it. Most people didn't want to go. Yeah, I mean, but, but from there to Harvard, uh, you, you need to you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, I understand. I want to tell us at what point, you know, where did that thing shift for you that mm -hmm. you started believing you could succeed, you could go all the way, you know? Yeah, it was during those times that I was trying to read for the O level, and eventually I did uh, GCE, Special okay. Center, then they gave me results. So. <laughs> And then, uh, and then after that, going to, okay, the only school that would take me then for admission, and it was not even ad straight admission, it was P-degree. Okay. So I started P-degree, and then the, uh, they told us that our names are written with pencil. If you don't pass, we'll go back home. And my dad warned me that if you don't pass, this money that I've paid, you become a mechanic and all. So I was like, okay, now I really have to read. So, like, and, and I get admission. But before getting that admission, my level has gone past every other person mm. on that campus. Just by reading books. Just by reading books. And I could not just stand. I can't discuss business ideas. I can't talk to them on a particular level. So. I started what is called Beyond School Initiative, which was the biggest organization on, on that campus. We brought a lot of people to that camp, and that was how I got to maybe, maybe make, I mean, some of the networks that I still have to date. Jimmy Tewe, Damala Lua, I brought Steve Harris, and all, all my, and we have the all packed out, 3,000 capacity, 4,000, then 6,000. People just listening to something different, and again, they called me, I said, okay, this guy, you are beginning to, you are beginning to distract people from studying and all that. So I studied petroleum, uh, petroleum and petrochemical science. And, and I have lecturers in my department that has not seen oil rig before. So I wonder, what are these guys teaching? What's the <laughs> application? And so, but I have people in my class that believe that, OK, maybe with that course, they will work in Shell, Chevron. But one day, I walked up to all of them during class, after lecture. And I told them that, see, you guys, this is Mirage. You have to wake up and then do something with that. So, you know, they will always call me Mr. Talkative has come and all that. You will not read, you read newspaper. But I, but I do read, but I just read their own summary. There are girls that sit in front, so they take notes, everything, and then while they are reading, they summarize. So I will do the photocopy of their summary, and that's what I will read during the exam and all that. So, but, but I told them something, and which to date is, is still the reality. They told them that, okay, if uh, during IT, you see these things for yourself. And during IT, the person that worked close to any team petroleum at all did IT with a petrol station. <laughs> so the guy came back, I was lamenting and also, but this, you know, but, but I'm a very practical person. I like mm. to, I, I ask questions a lot, and I question a lot of things. So mm. I'm like, okay, this lecturer studied bringing UI notes to class to teach us all this jargons and all that. And then I was the only student on my campus that didn't write projects. Because I didn't just, I told my HOD, I said, all these projects, see, nothing is being done. So why will I spend my money to write projects? So you guys said I was too full of myself. So I said, okay, sorry, sir, education is not part of my own ladder to success. So either I finish here or not, I will be successful and all that. And that same school this year called me, the VC called me, and I was honored with an award and, you know, that's the way life is, though. Yeah, so normally. yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, now, you've always been in business. You know, I've read your story. I've watched a lot of your interviews. And you started very early. Okay. Is it a gift thing or necessity? I think it was that book, I, The Wealth in Your Gift. Mm. So after reading that book, I started reading a lot of personality types book, uh, uh, Tim Lai's book and all that. Then I read Think and Grow Rich. That book for me was just something else. So, but I, but I made up my mind very early that I was going to do business because I was not just this. I'm, I'm, I'm too restless to be a nine to five. Mm. So I like to cut my shorts. I mean, I just like to do my things because I believe that uh, 
maybe four years ago, I learned that, no, maybe, yeah, four years ago, I learned that three, three things are very important. The knowledge of yourself, the knowledge of your environment, and then the knowledge of your God. Mm. What has he called you to do? I mean, how do you, so, and that really helped me shape my life. So, because for me, the first thing for me was to understand what I'm meant to do. Mm. So, as long as I just decided, okay, business is what I wanted to do. I started trying my hands on several businesses. The coaching center went bad. I started the events company, went bad. Started just moving. Then at the point, my dad told me, uh, my dad called me. 2010, I sold a father at the experience. I made some money. So, someone said, ah, experience 5,000, I mean, 500,000 people. Uh, you make a lot of money. I pressed calculator. Everything was looking right. So I ventured into a father business. So I cooked a father for that night, and it went so bad. So my friend called me and said, okay, we, we ask you to go to school. This business thing, you can do it later. But this thing, uh, and then I, I, I failed in so many businesses that my dad told me one day, he said, this is your vision thing. This is your business vision thing, vision thing, vision thing, vision thing. I'm afraid hmm. you end up where you don't want. And no, we stay in the same house. We stay in the same house. But my dad wrote me a letter. Mm. We stay in mm. we, we stay in the same house. We, mm. And he, maybe we were just sitting down in the corner of his room and we were just thinking about me. I was putting down his thought in the letter. So I picked, I read the letter. And like so, he said a lot of things in the letter. He said a lot of things in the letter that I, you know, I can't share publicly and all that. You know. So and then recently, I, I bought him a car. Mm. Twenty. I bought him a 2015 Jeep and all that. And he sent me text message. I've always known. That <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, so, you know I, I, I've learned that quite early enough. And mm. then to, but I knew that, okay, business was what I wanted to do. So there was a time I started a vocational training center in Abe Okuta. And then it was just, this, I mean, from, from one business to the other, from one business to the other. So. So, so, from what you're saying, you went from failure to failure. Yeah. These businesses were crashing. Yeah. What kept you going? Yeah, because mistakes increase your experience. Experience mm. reduces your mistakes. Mm. So, the more, you make, the more you make mistakes, the more you gain more experience. Mm. But the thing is that just learn that, okay, not to do it the same way again did it before. so mistakes will uh, increase your experience experience will reduce your mistakes mm. so the more you gain experience the more your uh, the more your mistakes are reduced mm. so. so you just went from mistake to mistake and you kept learning from yeah there. so tell us how did you get into real estate okay uh, at the time I was very angry at God because I think we share this this secret place to, together I, I mean I'm not Given to uh, maybe my own kind of prayer is different. I like to talk. I like to sit on a chair like this and then talk. Mm. Baba, uh, this thing, that's it. maybe I'm just used to that kind of communication with God. So, and at the point I was angry, I said, God, I've tried so many businesses, this it, it won't work. And at the time, maybe I'll invest in a particular business, I'll be praying to God, oh God, let this one work, just let this one work. If this won't work, but I, I, okay, I'll. I'll give you everything. Give you. That was not moving God. Though. So I was angry at God. I said, God, we had this thing. But my, my, my understanding of God, you know, you can be angry at God and then you move into some other things that are not godly and all yeah. that. But my understanding of God was too big that you know that this God will still deal with you. So you are stuck with that God, but you are just not talking. <laughs> So you are stuck like a, with him. Feels very not, much like a marriage. Yeah. 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 So you are stuck with that God, mm. and then, but you, you know, you are not going anywhere. But you know, just stay yeah, on I'm your own. I stay on my own. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm on my own for now. Take your this thing. I will do. So I was at that point in my life that church was not even making sense. So I will sit at the back. I, I, uh, I was an usher. Then I stopped being an usher. I will just sit at the back. I just be looking. I said. <laughs> And these guys are done, we'll go home and all. So, but God taught me a lesson. I said, okay, do you think I'm that wicked? One day, I was alone. Something happened in my house. I was alone. And 
I always want to, there are some kind of practice that I'm used to. Maybe I will study and all that. So, but this time I was just pressing phone. My was just, so God wanted to get my attention. And that day I would never forget. He wanted to get my attention and then I was on my phone. The network stopped working. No network. I was alone in the room. Zero, zero, that I cannot even go out and say, okay, let me even go out. There's no network. So lights went off. And then, and then I was now sitting and said, okay, I, I want your attention. Let's discuss. So I started, to, do you think I'm wicked? I said, ah, if you're not wicked, you can see now since 2009. <laughs> I've tried. Everybody has labeled me failure and all that. <sighs> you are wicked now. <laughs> I said, but... But, but, you, but, but, but you know that some things are missing. Mm. And then, now, what God told me was what I me- mentioned earlier, that the knowledge of yourself, so mm. I had the knowledge of myself. I had the knowledge of, to an extent, my oh. God. But I, I didn't have the knowledge of the environment. Mm. So, because I... I I was whispering to Pastor Tony Osinami that, okay, that, that I've been doing this study for the past four years, that uh, the guys in Dubai, not born again guys, and then Christians born again, they cannot even come up with one invention, what is happening? Mm. So, and then Christians cannot come up with maybe one invention and all that. And I was at a place recently that, uh, to speak, and I was like, how many people need to break through? And everybody's hands was up. And, and I asked, what's your breakthrough? Everybody is money, finance, finance. So I'm like, okay, so the reason why we come to church every day is because finance, is because, okay, we just want breakthrough for finance and all that, finance for that. And God told me that it's not my business. Now, if... Now, there was a man in that congregation that believed that, okay, maybe the devil has something to do with him not having money. But, but it's not like because once we are Christians, the devil is not the variable. We have power over that. And that's where the knowledge of, the knowledge of God comes in. What, what, uh, I mean, what's the word that we are using? He said, I, I, I'm, I'm the one that will teach your hands to profit. Mm. There are some, t- till date, maybe when some things happen, I don't even, I don't, I don't pray, I just, I just don't pray because of my revelation. I will go to the word and find the particular scripture. Mm. I'll just tender that scripture and it works. Mm. So for me, the knowledge of God was very important and also the knowledge of the environment. Many people don't, uh, the guy was telling me, okay, about his business and, and then think that the one devil, the guy had, but the guy had marketing problems, sales problems. He wasn't reading about sales. He wasn't reading about marketing. He doesn't like like he had no idea how to manage his finance. So there, are, so there, are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are practical things that are missing, which is just knowledge. Mm. Uh, having in-depth knowledge about what you want to do. Mm. All the businesses have failed that there was no knowledge, and mm. the environment was wrong. Mm. I started a business development consulting in Abe Okuta. Mm. <laughs> Abe Okuta. A- Abe Okuta. So, and I started a vocational school that I, I ended up training almost all the youth in that town. After I exhausted everybody, I moved to call members. So, but, but, but the environment was, and God started breaking me down. Mm. So, and I went for a three-month retreat. Mm. The next thing you will do, research so well about it. You went for a three-month retreat? Three-month retreat. As in three months? Three, yeah, three-month retreat. And the only thing I, I, I had was the internet. The mm. internet was available. So, we, we, before starting real estate, I used to tell people that I studied almost every materials I can get online. Mm. 
I watched YouTube videos, watched everything. Then I came back and I told my friend that, okay, that I'm going to start a real estate company. And my mind was still moving to that Abekuta. Mm. <laughs> and my friend told me that, and <laughs> God, God didn't make that work at all. Mm. So my friend said, real estate, you have tried so many things. Real estate of all is the one you want to try next. You're about to encounter mega failure. Yeah. The ones you've been doing is minor. This one will be mega. So, and then I started thinking again. I started reading. I'm like, I don't have to start into real estate buying and selling. I can start training people about how to do sales in real estate. So every material I consumed was on digital marketing for real estate. Mm. And I moved to, in fact, when. Coming back, I did not pick any pin from Abekuta. Mm. So I was crashing somewhere in Mushi. I, I was sleeping on a wooden chair for three months. Mm. So, sleep on a wooden chair. And Mushi people are very, sorry, Mushi people are very wicked. <laughs> when you are going out in the morning. So I was volunteering for Inspiro Consulting when I went uh, back to Lagos. And Mushi, when you are going to work, I am telling them, ah, please, bros, Andre Nera. They will not tell you, I don't have 100 naira. They will go, 100 naira, 100 naira, 100 naira. And then they will tell you they don't have. <laughs> so, and then the environment was looking, I said, ah, this is not where I want to be. Oh. Because by, by the time I was done with, with my knowledge of environment, so one of the things that I learned is that the kind of money you are looking for, mm. you have to be around people that have that kind of money. Mm. Me, I like good things, though. And I've been saying it from very, very young age. I like good things. Good things of life, I like it, sir. I like it. Yeah. First class is nice. Mm. Money is good. Mm. When the Bible says that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow, that one you will sleep and snore. But the one that has sorrow, they just wake you up at the middle of the night. They just start sweeping. <laughs> Go and bath in Lake and about. <laughs> Those are that sort of, but but so I like so she told me that okay, you have to be around people that have that kind of money. It, to do trainings in Abeokuta for three thousand naira, they will ask you question that so when I moved to the island I was I was squatting in a BQ. You know mm. what if you know Lucky BQ is not smiling. Lucky BQ is like Lekki BQ is like, okay, my bathroom now. That's Lekki BQ. Mm. So, and I was caught in the BQ, but something changed. I was looking at those guys. I was like, ah, these guys, see the way they are. Even the churches, they're, they're, you'd, so I'll wait after service. I'll be looking at their cars. Now, two things can happen to you. Either you are intimidated and you run back, mm. or you are inspired. Yeah. Mm. So, but all those things was since I was, so I will, I will feed my mind on Sunday, feed my mind on Sunday. I will look at people's cars, I will look at people, you know, and their discussion is, I just came back from, okay, yo, you, you traveled on Wednesday, you came back on Saturday. I'm like, ah. So, but I was inspired. And I will enter the week with that energy. Mm. And I started doing training, data marketing training, 30,000 naira, the class will be full. Ah. 40,000 naira, they will still come. 70,000 naira, they will still come. And then, but, but, but I can trace everything back to that retreat that I, I mm. studied more about what I wanted to do. Mm. And, I, and I still tell people to your date that if you are in business or you are struggling with anything, God is not that wicked that you do 40 days stretch and he will not answer. I, I, I practically don't believe that because the Bible says that if we, if we pray, we should believe that we have received. Mm. So if we pray, he said his, his ears is not deaf. Yeah. So if we pray and then we keep, me, I don't believe that. So the rest is that God will give me insights, ideas. Mm. There, are times that, that, there are times that I will finish praying about something now. And the materials I'll start seeing will be along that thing I've prayed yeah, about. Yeah. 
So I will start consuming it. Mm. So because for me, I'll tell anybody, because the Bible says that be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Yeah. My people perish for lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Mm. Because Christian perishing is just because of one thing. It can just be because of knowledge. And I feel that there's a, there's a big knowledge gap. Mm. So big knowledge gap. Mm. So big knowledge gap. In my organization, because I can't work with dollars, I, it's irritating. I fired PA like this year, I'm on the sixth one. <laughs> so I'm on this. So I have little patience for once you can. I have PA, I have executive PA, but she's still handling operations within the office. So she's extra smart. But I wanted, okay, maybe somebody that, that sits at my front desk. And so I've used six this year. And why? Because at my workplace, we have a culture. 8.30 to 9, you must read. No, we have a library. And we spend on books like no man's business. I can buy a book of one millionaire as long as it makes sense to me and is relevant to what I want to do. I will buy it. Mm. When I was going to have that, someone said, ah, this money, if you break it down, break it down, break it down. Say, that is the same way. Because by, by, by the time you analyze that, that, the money that, uh, that the money is too much for knowledge, then you can't make that kind of money. Mm. Because people want to make people want to make two billion, they cannot invest two hundred million mm. Because if you want to make two billion, last year we did some crazy turnover, and then we and we blessed God for it and all that. So this year, you know, my mind that okay, every year seven percent of our profits will go into development. Mm. So we are sending people to MIT, people to Stanford. Normal stuff. So you have to read from 8.30 to 9. And not just, you know, people can disguise and, 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 just, yeah. and then just open book and then they, no, our own is not like that. You will discuss. <laughs> it is turn by turn every week. You mm. will discuss. And then we have a way of, we have a way of shaming you that you, that you don't belong to this environment. Mm. So, I force people to, and they are becoming better every day for it. Mm -hmm. Becoming better and better. And I figure out that because it's like garbage in, garbage out. I have a daughter, and I had breakfast with her yesterday. So I was like, you want to go to Harvard? She said yes. But, yeah, they will say yes now. I mean, probably, probably does not even understand what I've But what, what the girl said yes. I was like, okay, this girl said yes. You want to go to Harvard? And for once, I paused. So I'm like, this girl wants to go to Harvard. Maybe in the next 15 years, Harvard will be like doing any course in the UK now is about maybe 13,000 pounds to 14,000 pounds. And in the next maybe 15 years, it will be like almost times four. I've done the research. It will be times four. So times four, how do I send this girl to that kind of school? is by managing money. I can't keep making money, making money, making money. You can manage money. Like, it's the management of money that keeps you making money. Okay. So you need to learn how to make money, manage money, and multiply. So it's the management that multiplies it. So making money, everybody... Because we make money every day, that's how we live. Somebody can... Uh, somebody knows how to make... Uh, uh, 10,000 and that person knows how to make this thing, and that person knows how to make 10 billion. But, but we can't be in that circle every time. Mm -hmm. That means that you want to work all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. How do you enjoy the, your money? Otherwise, has been on three month vacation now. Who goes on three month vacation? Three month vacation. So, and I was doing, I was just like, okay, that means that if Managing money includes, okay, building your wealth to multiply your money. So that means, okay, if this girl is going to have in the next 15, I need to invest in something that can pay that bill. Yeah. So that you now buy, which is what I'm doing, you know, I'm not marketing. So is that you buy, maybe, so I'm like, okay, if I buy a house in America and then put it on rent, 
I don't have anything to do with the rental income. And then just keep saving for that number of years. And then maybe when, when she's done with school, and then maybe she's like, okay, sell the house. My dad missed out of Lekio, my dad. He was an engineer, and I was in secondary school. I'll follow him to Lekki, this same Lekki, and he would tell them, Omilu Magbe and people you love. And, and he was involved in major reclamation. He has dredgers, and, and they would tell him, collect money and, and take land, and he would collect money. And, he, and he, he has all his properties in Abegota. My house is, my house can buy everything. Everything to do. So you, you need to have, <laughs> you need to have, you need to have investment mindset mm. also when you make money. Because even, you don't have to make big money. Even my staff that are on maybe 200,000 hour salary, 300,000, I tell them, put your money in at least nothing less than 30% of your salary must work for you. So put your money in this, put your money in that. You need to understand. So they do research on maybe what anybody, even our cleaner will tell you how much uh, uh, TBUZ is now. We'll, we'll tell you the percentage you get on. You can come and try. Just come and disguise as maybe clients and others. So, sorry, so how much is TBUZ now? They will tell you, I'm telling you. They know how you can double, make your money, double your money. So it's very important and it's just knowledge, yo. It's just, it's just knowledge because what you don't know will place a huge limitation, a huge limitation, a huge limitation. So thank you very, very much.